What's up everybody, it's HTG Brian here. We got level 18, the road to nowhere story for Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2. We get that trophy achievement, Ego, the Lego planet, but we fall short of that stud requirement, so we only get that one gold brick. So let's pick up right where we left off with a cutscene. Finally, I have found opponents worthy of Kang, my retaliatory strike. Oh, Kang, Kangest of Kangs. May a negotiated peaceful settlement still be possible? I am Kang the Conqueror! Conquering is what I do, and I intend to do it! Cosmo has a simple manifest for avenging God! Sorry, Cosmo. You're breaking up. That's odd. Interesting reading. It looks like there's huge EMP potential on board. Emp? Electromagnetic pulse. Set that baby off, we bring down the Citadel shields. And Cosmo finally get to meet the pretty lady! We've conducted analysis on the Nexus shards. We can amalgamate the fragments, but nowhere will end up creating a massive energy footprint and wipe out the mansion. No. <gasps> the answer's simple. We create a channeling device to raise the footprint high above the mansion. And we'll need Strange's help to create the portal to allow nowhere through. Sounds like we need to prep up. What could possibly go wrong? Yeah, I'm with Cosmo. It doesn't seem like a whole lot could go wrong here. Well, we unlocked the giant man. That's right. We'll go ahead and add him to our collection. And then we're going to go ahead and dip out of this lower area of the mansion and head up onto the roof. That's right. So leave the command center, follow that blue stud ghost trail all the way up top, outside the front door, and up onto the rooftops. We'll go ahead and we'll start by uh, smashing and building some things up there. That's right, we got a few things to take care of. In fact, uh, once we get them all dealt with, Doctor Strange is gonna come in and open that portal for that big Lego planet. That's right, Ego the Lego planet. You can see we got some blue bricks flashing up there, indicating they need repair. We know Tony Stark is capable of that, so we'll go ahead and switch to him and have him take on this ladder. Hip it to the hopper all the way to the top. -er. That's right. Once we get up there, we'll simply walk up and press the icon indicated to go ahead and fix those bricks. Now, look at that. Third time's the charm. The old jump to climb is usually faster than walking up and climbing, but... Uh, if you fail, it isn't. All right, and we got this uh, repair. I, I I will say I do like the improved repair mechanics. Normally, you'd have to just kind of uh, press and hold a certain button, circle, B, whatever, and it would happen for you. Now you have to do like a series of little uh, quick time events, which is pretty cool, little mini games. And uh, all right, so once we got that fixed, we're going to go ahead and smash, bang, and boom all the rest of these boxes on the roof. There's a couple that are flashing. Those are really only the ones you need to smash. But once you get them all, all destroyed we'll go ahead and build them up into a piece of this puzzle it's actually uh, a number reader is what he says he says something like uh, we can uh, go ahead and uh, yeah there we go we can punch our numbers into it now so for whatever reason we could go ahead and activate this little machine on the left simply press the arrows as indicated and it'll go ahead and flash green Luckily for us, we didn't fail at that. And all of a sudden, it pops out this giant battery generator thing, but things go wrong quickly, and it plummets to its doom. Now, I got a little ahead of myself. I know there's a brick that fell off the back side there, and I need to use that to go ahead and finish the build, but I have to start the build first. So luckily, Giant Man was still up there to go ahead and take that task on for me. I'll switch real quick to Tony as he's waiting down there by that other piece. We'll go ahead and toss it on up, switch back to Giant Man, and activate this whole thing by walking towards the middle, and in comes Strange. Everything up and running? Then I'm ready to begin whenever you are. Just say the word. You know the drill, into the halo, and away we go. Oh, yeah. Strap yourselves in for a news update so big, so enormous, the only word to describe it is planet-sized. Okay, so that's two words, so sue me. Finally, the heroes have done something right for once and have reassembled the shattered fragments of the Nexus to open a portal in time and space. Why? Why, you ask? Well, where have you been? Living in Lemuria? The Avengers and co. are bringing the moon size nowhere here. That's why. They'd have done it all a lot sooner if they'd fetched Spider-Man and his grandstanding. 
Hank Pym, with his supersized brain, thinks there's got to be assets on board capable of bringing down the shield protecting Kang Citadel. Just drop the thing on it, I say. Wait, but if they mess this up, that giant space skull thing could flatten half the city! So, are we gonna push the switch or what? There's a lot of interference. Hey, Rocket. You remember nowhere having a mustache? Uh, not to the best of my knowledge, no. Ego? The living planet? Who summons me through time and space across the galaxies? Mm, uh, not guilty, Mac. Yes, it was. You flipped the switch. I'm guessing we should have checked the calculations. The calculations were perfect. I've just received a message. We shouldn't activate the device. Kang knows what we're planning. What's the source? I have no idea. It was a woman's voice. Uh, yeah, you want to ask whoever she is what we should do if we have activated it? Kang, he shall pay for his insolence once you have paid for your incompetence. Uh, slight adjustments needed. Wasp, we're gonna need some help with this. Okay, Tony, what do you need us to do? First, you need to activate and establish a satellite link. The dish is all set up, you just need to point it in the right direction. So we need a satellite link, huh? Well, it turns out there are two different sections we need to assemble. The first one starts off by using Black Bolt's seriously loud, large and in charge voice there to go ahead and remove those sound bricks, those blue glowing bricks. And then we'll go ahead and rebuild the pieces from that into a grapple plug, which we can switch to old Spidey and rip the plug out. And look at that, we've got ourselves a wheel. So you know the drill, spin to win, people. And we'll go ahead and fill it up. And it actually puts out the fire. It actually, all we did was turn on the sprinkler system. And look at that. Now we have access to this whole other area. Now it turns out we need to get oh so small. So we'll switch on over to Wasp and make our way over to this purple rock, which we remove and go ahead and make our way into this sketchy situation. It's supposed to be like a ladder and everything, and I remember doing a lot of this in the LEGO Dimensions. However, I had a heck of a time flying around in here. I couldn't quite jump up and grab the ladders, nor could I fly up. Something was going on. It was a funny angle or something, but we get in there, we actually push the lower button, and now we gotta get all the way up top, and this is where things get sketchy. Eventually, I make it up, I promise. In fact, I think I go the long way. I think I drop out and go around to the left. No, I tried to fly. Yeah, see, look, I just, I had a heck of a time with this. So, uh, eventually, I make it in there and go all the way up. And this time, we're going to go up to the left, up to the right. And boo, you can shout. There's some pieces up here. We'll drop down below and build them up into, what do we got? Ooh, it's another terminal. So, we'll go ahead and get our ns, 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 techno on. That's right. It's a techno panel over on the right. And this one is a little bit different. We have to manipulate this satellite dish in a certain way that it'll actually charge up all the bars. So, wait for it. Wait for it. It's actually straight up and just over to the right. Once we get that, it actually powers up this tube all the way over. And look at that. Some more bricks come busting out, and we need to go deal with them. What's going on over here? Ooh, it's a push switch. Aha. We'll go ahead and push that on the green side. And he says something about pushing these all until they aim at each other. So we're just going to keep on spinning that around until they are doing just that. Now, hey, if you have not already, please do us all a favor and click that subscribe button. We are on that mission to 100K as of this video, and we can certainly use your help by subscribing and telling your friends and family who would be interested in our content as well. Now, uh, you probably noticed, too, there's some bouncing bricks in the front left side of your screen there. There is a mini kit just waiting to be got, but we're going to be back in our free play for that. And you guys know uh, we'll go ahead and freely, freely, freely and get all those stud requirements as well. We'll knock it all out in one video for you. This is kind of the funsy video where we go through and play the level. And then, of course, we'll come back and get all them collectibles later. 
But uh, all right, so we have uh, we had quite the time taking out that weird robotic spider-like thing there. But eventually, I get it gone, and I start to spin around some more. And guess what? Some more bad guys, I do believe, come in and try to ruin our day. But I keep on spinning. That's right. We're almost there. I fell off the switch, though. That was kind of funny. But eventually, I get it all the way, and nothing happens. Psych. Actually, it just takes a second. Basically, uh, we queue in and say, hey, guess what? We did everything we need to do, and now it's your turn. And we get a quick peek at Ego, the Lego planet up there. And then it switches us over to the other side. Gives us a nice cinematic view of everything that's going on over here. And it turns out there's this generator getting beat down by a bunch of baddies. So we'll have to put a stop to that. That camera kind of gives us an indication that something might need to go on with that pile of debris there and it looks like we've got ourselves a character with the digging ability so we'll go ahead and switch on over to the white tiger and get that dig on right quick look at that and ooh, we got ourselves some bricks we can build up into a captain america shield panel so looks like we're gonna have to go ahead and toss that shield off up into that weird structure there but first let's go ahead and take out the bad guys thor's hammer does a good job of taking most of them out couple of bystanders standing here so we'll go ahead and remove them cha 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 and last but not least we'll go ahead and remove this strong handle in the back again you got to love the fact that the, oh, super strong only requires one hand and i try to do the old jump rooney up top to spin to win on this pole but it does not work with thor apparently he is not capable of acrobatic feats so uh, we'll have to uh, switch on over to the White Tiger as we will need Captain America and his shield on that shield switch there. I guess it's not really a switch. It's more of a uh, podium or something. We'll go ahead and stand on it, though, regardless, and activate whatever it is we're doing here by tossing our... Oh, that's right. There's a crane up top. We'll go ahead and spin that crane around and drop it like it's hot. Booyah kashow. That looked like it dropped right on our head, did it not? But uh, look at that. We've got some bricks. We'll build them up into... What is this? Ooh, it's a windmill. That's right, and it'll go ahead and power up part of this generator. But as it turns out, we cannot send a full-on jolt to it as it will ruin it. So we're going to have to power up the other side with equal power. And I think they even say something about it right now, like, why can't we just use Thor? And, and Tony says, because it'll ruin it. But so we got to make our way over to the right hand side. We actually saw this earlier when the camera was panning around. We need to go over to the far right side and deal with this little switch over here with the green tentacly like things on it. We'll go ahead and remove those with White Tiger's claws and then it reveals a power note. So we'll go ahead and switch on over to Thor and pump, 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 pump it up. That's right. Use the power of Thor Skull to go ahead and charge that door open. Uh, wait a minute. I charged it up. Why isn't it opening? Maybe I didn't charge it up all the way. Anyhow, we go ahead and remove it. <laughs> Buddy's in there trying to fix that riding lawnmower, but we go ahead and remove him right quickly. And wait, what do we got? All of a sudden, we've got all these glowing bushes out here. They were not destroyable prior to getting into that back gate, though. So something with that charge on the wall there electrified all of these and revealed a whole bunch of dig points. Now, I don't know if there's a special one you need to dig or if it's the number. Lately in LEGO games, they've been pretty much uh, procedurally generated, uh, but usually number-based. So it doesn't matter which one you do it on. It's just a certain number you need to achieve. Now, I'm getting shot at. Some pew-pews are coming in from the front left side. We should probably go take care of of that sooner than later but i was just totally infatuated with getting my dig on and look at this so we got this guy with this electric force field around and we need to switch on over to thor and remove that but uh i am just infatuated with digging and look at that all of a sudden i've got all the bricks so it turns out you need them all it wasn't one or the other it's all of them once you get them all you got this little hamster wheel we'll go ahead and hop on it and get things a spinning that's right spin to win people spin to win after about a half marathon or so, this wheel will go ahead and provide the perfect amount of power to our generator and charge it up, revealing a switch, which we can go ahead and hop over there and flip. Once we flip that switch, it's actually going to take us back up to the rooftop where we were already preparing things, and uh, Doctor Strange is going to come to help us out, but we're going to have to prepare things and actually guard a force field. We have a little generator up there that we need to protect. 
and uh, we'll get to that in just a second. Now, there's this bad guy out here, and I don't know if you've noticed, but lately, I'm not into fighting. I'm like, forget you guys, I'm going home. That's right, and look at that. I go ahead and I flip that switch. The power goes all the way up top to the roofs, as promised, and there is that power bar. So basically, there is just a certain amount of time you have to uh, basically survive here, and the more bad guys you take out, the faster that meter will charge. Now, I do pretty good at first with this grenade theory here, but then it starts to go bad on me real quick. Like, you can see, like, look, all the bad guys are dying with one grenade, but as time, like I said, as time goes on, they get a little stronger, they come in with some force fields and some armor, and the grenades don't quite do the trick. Now, I'm pretty sure we can't fail at this. Now, I could be wrong. I, I think it's just a matter of the longer it takes you to get rid of the bad guys on screen, the, the more damage they do and the longer it takes for that meter to fill up. So you can see some of these guys are coming in with health meters on top of them. The grenades are doing the trick, but I think this ninja gets the best. Yep, look at that. She got the best of me right there. Chopped me right in half. Now, I think I switch on over to another character here in a second. I do believe it's like Spider-Gwen, I think is our next attempt is with, but uh, I'm still turfing those nades. Things are still going, bada boom, but look, there's a lock on top of that person, so seriously not doing any damage, so I gotta try something else. And look at this, the old up close and personal cha cha cha, -cha seems to be working, but not quite. I do a double attack there, which I did not mean to do, uh, but eventually I get back on over to somebody else. Oh no, I got Rocket again. I think I switch to She-Hulk next, and I think I finish off everybody with She-Hulk. I could be wrong. Oh, no. Yeah, here we go. Uh, no. Wait. Here we go. No. Still rocket. It's hard to tell sometimes. Some of these battles are hard to tell who you're controlling and what's going on. I know that my thumbs were very angry at me at the end of this because I was just going crazy. Spam, spam, spam. Spam, spam, spam. Hitting that button over and over and over again. And look at that. The meter's filling up, though. It's working. Oh, yep. Now I got She-Hulk and a couple of full meter people out there. We'll go ahead and pay attention to them first. I guess those little guys, you know, probably get removed by our AI. Maybe not, but uh, I'm solely focusing on the guys with the meters and the shields first, or at least trying to, if I can make out which character I am and where I am, for that matter. <laughs> but we are officially in the home stretch of this level, and as soon as that meter fills up, it takes us to the final cutscene, and then we'll see you at the final totals. I think it actually goes early. I don't think the meter actually fills all the way up for us, if I remember correctly. It's not full, it's not full, it's not full. Boy, that's sure strange. Kang, I shall remember this impertinence. You shall pay. Way to go! I think oh. I might need a break. What? Hmm. I knew those coordinates would work. Perfectly. Booyaka show! Like, I know his name is Ego, but for the sake of this trophy achievement, Ego, the Lego planet. Haha! -ha. Hey, the road to nowhere, level complete, free play unlocked. We uh, got a gold brick for completing the level. We fell way short of that stud requirement. Of course, we didn't pick up any of the mini kits or get a chance to freely, freely, freely. But we'll be back. As you guys know, we are in the home stretch of the story and we are almost ready to prepare for free play and get off on our collectible mission. So uh, if you haven't already, check out our trophy achievement guide on our main website, happythumbsgaming.com. Just look up top for the guides button and then search through and find whichever guide you're looking for. But special shout out to Tyler for hooking up a guide and letting us know where all the collectibles are for this one. And uh, as for me, that's going to do it for now. As always, until next time.